Hi everyone, this is Amy at the Virtual Planetarium at Raritan Valley Community College. Today we are going to be making a pocket solar system. What is that, you ask? It's a scale model of our solar system, showing us the relative distances to each of the planets. So what is our solar system? Well, here it is. This is a nice picture. I like this picture because it shows us the relative sizes of all the planets. We can see the sun over on the left-hand side is very, very large. And then you've got all the planets lined up in their order away from the sun. You can see how big Jupiter is, Saturn. Earth, the third planet from the sun, is quite small compared to some of the others, and certainly compared to the sun. More than a million Earths could fit inside of the sun at the same time. But what this does not show us is how far apart the planets are from each other. A picture like this shows all the planets squished together so nicely. You would think, why haven't we sent astronauts to Mars? It's right there, right next to us. But in reality, the planets are separated at very big distances. It takes a spacecraft about six months to get to Mars, so it's not an easy trip. That's why we haven't sent any astronauts there just yet. Okay, so we're going to make a scale model. We need just a couple of things a sheet of paper, a pair of scissors, pen, pencil, marker, something to write with. And then also you can have some tape at the end to tape all of your strips of paper together. So let's start with our piece of paper. Take a regular piece of paper and make a hot dog fold. A hot dog fold is when you fold the long sides together so you have a thinner piece of paper. And then fold that in half so you've got like a rectangle here. Open it up and you should have three fold lines. Take your scissors and cut along each of those fold lines so you wind up with four strips of paper. Okay, time to start our solar system. Take one strip of paper and I want you to write Kuiper belt at the bottom. The Kuiper belt is a circle of area out past Neptune where there are lots of icy and rocky worlds, including Pluto. And then at the top of that strip of paper, write Neptune. So we've got Kuiper belt at the bottom and Neptune at the top of that strip of paper. Excellent. Next strip of paper. I want you to write Neptune at the bottom and Uranus at the top. That's Neptune at the bottom and Uranus at the top. Now we've written Neptune twice because at the end when you go to tape everything together you'll put the Neptune and Neptune together and tape them together like that. Okay, third strip of paper. We've got Uranus at the bottom and Saturn at the top. So on our third strip of paper, we're doing Uranus at the bottom, Neptune at, uh, Saturn at the top. And of course, if I'm going too fast for you, feel free to pause, rewind, and you can uh, go at your speed. All right, so now we need our fourth strip of paper. Let's put Saturn at the bottom and the Sun at the top. So that's Saturn at the bottom of this fourth strip, Sun at the top. Excellent. We've gotten to the Sun, but we're missing some planets. We're missing a bunch of planets. Okay. We've got to fit them on this sheet of paper somehow, the one with Sun and Saturn. Fold the piece of paper from the Sun to Saturn. Make a nice little crease there. On that fold line, I want you to write Jupiter. Yep, Jupiter is halfway between the Sun and Saturn. Okay, now fold from the Sun to Jupiter. Make a nice fold line there. And I want you to write asteroid belt. Yep, asteroid belt. 
Okay, now fold from the sun to the asteroid belt. Make a nice fold line there. What do you think goes there? It's the red planet Mars. So on that fold line, halfway between the sun and the asteroid belt is Mars. Where's Earth? We're getting to that. Okay, yes, we haven't forgotten about Earth. Fold from the sun to Mars. Don't unfold it yet. Now I want you to fold it from that crease line to Mars. Fold it nicely, and now when you open it up, you should have three fold lines, and you can write Mercury, Venus, and Earth on those three fold lines. Fantastic. So now when you tape everything together, you have a long strip of paper, starting with your inner solar system, the planets close to the sun, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, all the way to the end where the Kuiper Belt and Pluto are. Yes, so our solar system is laid out for you here. You can see how the planets close to the sun are really close together, and everybody else is stretched out really far apart from each other. Well, thank you very much for doing this craft with me. I hope you had fun learning a little bit about our solar system. And we've got more for you on our website and on our Facebook group. So please feel free to join us in those places. And we hope to see you back at our planetarium sometime soon. Have a great day, everyone.